Welcome back to the harrowing adventures of Hardcore Hotline. Today we're joined by Matt Fisher from the band Contact. Matt, how are you? Doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, we can make it worse. So can you tell us about this band, this band Contact? Because we had never heard of you until 37 minutes ago when we checked our calendar and saw your name on there. Yeah, you're not the only person that's that's yeah, only thinking. now heard of us just now. Yeah, um, so Contact, uh, yeah, we're a hardcore band from Richmond, Four Piece. Uh, we got together in 2019, so just before everything shut down. And um, yeah, we're like, you know, a hardcore band. We we have found recently that the weirdest thing you can be is just a normal hardcore band uh, in 2024. <laughs> we don't have like a drippy logo or anything like that. Nothing against those those logos. Um, and uh, yeah, kind of like late 90s, early 2000s inspired hardcore, non ironically because we are older uh, <laughs> folks. So, so old. um, it's pretty old. Feeling it more every day. Mm -hmm. um, every day. Yeah. And so playing shows, we have a record uh, that we put out last year um, called uh, Through and, uh, or no, Before and Through and Beyond All Time. Yeah, it's hard. It's a mouthful. And That's a lot. Getting ready to That's put a new, so much. It's a whole thing. Um, getting ready. We just finished a new EP and looking for ways to get that out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that there are things you could do, like you could put it on the internet, uh, you know, just into the, the void of the internet and say, hey, listen to this. And I'm sure that will work perfectly. So what what do you do? What do you do in this band? So I am uh, the vocalist for this band. So I sing and write most of the lyrics. Why do they let you do that? Mostly because... Um, I'm older than the rest of the guys in the band. Um, so really my primary job is just to stay conscious on stage and not black out um, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, from being winded uh, and do all of the like dad stuff. Um, uh -huh. So, you know, uh, make sure everybody's got their lunch packed when we, when we go on trips um and as you have used the bathroom um i send out all the emails i you know do things like call in to the hardcore hotline to try to let people know who we are and and uh yeah i think that's why they let me do it um uh, mostly <laughs> it's because the band was my idea so i think they oh. just feel like they need to honor that in some way oh so this this whole thing was your idea huh it's your fault yeah yeah it's my fault um you got to have a midlife crisis. This seems you, like as good must. as any. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so. you could be, you know, doing the, the, the other things, getting a very expensive car, which in this day and age is just a used 2011 Acura. Um, True. But you decided to start a hardcore band. That's so adorable. Mm. So you said that you guys sound like the 90s, 2000s, but... If someone had never heard of your band, which is everyone, who would you say you sound like the most? Mm, that's a good question. We get a lot of comparisons to a band from the mid 90s called Outspoken. They were like a really vegan straight edge band um, that we like, but sort of accidentally sound like. Um, okay. Probably more recent for those who are not knocking on death's door like i am uh i would say like maybe have heart verse that sort of m melodic but but definitely mm -hmm. fast and more traditional hardcore of the of yeah. many decades ago well, and have heart is coming back to play shows so are you worried now that people will just go back to listening to have heart instead of listening to you their replacement for have heart that's still playing <laughs> Yeah, I think it's kind of like um, just because there's somewhere down the street that sells cargo pants that are nice doesn't mean Walmart goes out of business. Mm, okay. So it's kind of like, uh, I think we'll be okay. 
Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. If they if they want if they want our forty fans, they I mean, I, they can have they can have them. Yeah, they they probably already did. So, Mark, you said that your band is from Richmond, which is in the state of Virginia. Are you friends or are you mortal enemies with the other Richmond area bands? It seems like there's so many, like one every week crops up. Yeah, yeah, there's there's sort of a Thunderdome situation that we do in Richmond. Um, mm-hmm. So every time three bands start, they they enter into a sort of uh, death only completion combat um, yeah. Yeah. situation. We've survived so far. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but no, uh, in seriousness, cause I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. We get along. I, there's no bands in town. We don't get along with everyone's wonderful. Um, and it's, it's always fun to play shows here. Um, yeah. Richmond's great. What is your favorite of all of the Richmond area bands? And you have to give us one so that we can tag the other ones and say, Hey, contact thinks you're a terrible band. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. Is this a band that like is is currently together? No, because that half I'm the bands that the hardcore scene likes are bands that are no longer playing and no longer together. But they're going to continue to listen to them and harass sure. them to get back together. It's that's it's not, the only way. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. Um, probably the Richmond band that had the biggest influence on me in my youth and still today would be strike anywhere. They still mm-hmm. are technically together. They play technically. occasionally once yeah. in a while. Um, yep. And so that would be one, I think of current active bands. Uh, the two that, that I like the most are a band called wasted space. Um, and then a band called uh, heavy is the head, which is like more of a metal band that we play with quite a bit. Okay. We've heard of the heavy, heavy headed gentlemen. And they are very heavy. <laughs> We're so funny. Oh my goodness. That's our one joke. So um, that's good. That's good that you have friends that are supportive. And um, is is most of the shows that you play in Richmond just made up of the other bands in Richmond? Is that how it goes? Yeah, well, we try to host touring bands so that there's at least four or five people not from town watching us when we play. Um, (laughs) But uh, yeah, luckily, one of the reasons I think we like Heavy is the Head is that they are five piece. So it really fills the room out when we play together. That's true. Um, We are currently and always looking for a ska band. I'm hoping that ska is going to come back so that there can be 11 or 12 people present. (sighs) Um, okay okay i understand your logic because the ska band just thrown into a hardcore heavy heavy head heavy head heavy is the head uh would be quite the ticket but understanding that there could that there could be at least 15 people there you know that yeah, really ska bands tend to have more members <laughs> yeah, and, there's so. a lot of them maybe you could this might be creepy of you but if you preface it correctly it could work out you could go to the high school football games and start scouting around for the marching bands Mm. and say hey kid Mm. you want to start a ska band that's how every ska band when we were a young person that's how they started was at the football game marching bands that's yeah and then the kids that played wind (laughs) instruments suddenly found out that they could be in a they could be in a band yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they still, yeah. you know, it. they were in a band, but when people found out what band they were, it didn't work out for them. But at the same time, they got to say, I'm in a band and have that one moment of, of ooh, this person might be cool and fun instead. Mm. It's a ska band. So good logic. Good logic. So meow. Speaking of music, who have you been listening to recently? It doesn't have to be Richmond based. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh recently I'm I'm gonna try to be accurate and um so I'm gonna look at my my iTunes. I am an Apple music guy. Okay. Yeah. Um that's yeah, fine, I really like 
there's a new paint at black record, which, mm-hmm. uh, called famine, which is quite good. Um, been listening to that a lot lately. Um, really, really enjoying, um, uh, let's see. A band called time heist, I believe out of Colorado. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. uh, there's a band called, um, magnitude, which, yes. uh, folks may have heard of, uh, their EP uh, deliverance that recently came out is pretty much that's the record that I feel like I could just listen to that one for quite a while. Um, that's the go-to for yeah. right now for sure. Um, yeah. Magnitude that, is, yeah. Magnitude's a, a, a good one. We've heard of them and okay. at least two minutes of one of their songs. So we're pretty with it. That's a whole, As, that's a whole song. You heard the song. That's a whole song. Two minutes that's is a, about right. It yep. is an entire song. Yep. Now back to your band which is why you're here i guess um you said that you have a an e an ep coming out mm. how many songs are on this lmn ep mm. uh, it's it's five songs it's about it's about 12 minutes so oh. uh not a huge ask yeah as far as yeah. a time commitment for folks good um perfect but we're super excited uh about it we're happy with how it turned out and um hopeful that people will get to hear it at some point maybe when we um yeah release it okay when are when is it going to be released no date yet uh we are looking for uh we're looking for a label um to help us put it out um or maybe we're just looking for somebody to help us uh distribute it in some way uh, so that mm-hmm. somebody hears it. Okay. Uh, so no release date, no release date yet. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep track of that. You let us know when that comes out, and we'll be sure to tell our so many followers, uh, and they will surely take twelve minutes to listen to it. You know, on the way to the grocery store or something now um mozzarella what are these songs what are what are they about what are you singing about you said that you write all the lyrics so like what are you even writing about that's a good question um it's a little all over the place we you know i write a lot about um on this ep there's a song about sort of the uh, social media and ai and this kind of um sort of scary development and technology that I feel like our brains are not totally adjusted to and how it's kind of uh, dangerous in a lot okay. of ways that we're not acknowledging. Um, I write a lot about um, sort of existential spiritual concepts. So we draw sort of, or feel like we're in that vein of hardcore with like 108 or um, burn. Um, there's a, a more recent band called, uh, back to Godhead. So we're, um, sort of focused on the more universal aspects of being a human being. Um, so a lot of philosophy, spirituality, um, stuff like that and matters of sort of the, the problematic nature of living in an empire or nation state. So kind of a political slant to it a little bit as well, which I know people love. They and, love uh, it so much. Yes. Love to talk about that stuff. Yeah, yeah, especially on the internet. So it sounds yeah. like it's a pretty it's it's one of those albums that once you start to read the lyrics, you're definitely going to see it on like an R some a, a subreddit of some kind where they talk about that type <laughs> of music. Um and you're going to have just the finest that the internet has to offer. Uh just yeah. talking about it and going through it. So we can't wait to see those comment threads. Um, mm. Especially if our hardcore or our metalcore gets a hold of that. We'll keep a lookout on that. Maybe we'll start that thread ourselves just for a little extra sure. chaos when we get bored. We'll love it. We'll love it. Sure. So what about your old music? Are you pretending you never made it because of you know how it sounds? Yeah. Uh, no, that's not true. We are super proud of what's currently out. Um, the EP, oh. uh, before and through and beyond all time is only a year old. 
uh, we put that out through Patient Zero Records, and they they were really they've been really great. Um, and it's on Spotify and and iTunes, and super proud of that. Okay, okay, and I, is your music just on the internet, or are there? Is it like on a old eight track, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, there's just, we sell Zunes that just okay. have MP3s of mm -hmm. our records on them. Um, you can get them at our merch booth. If you want to buy something physical online, there are records uh, through Patient Zero Records. Um, so you can go to Patient Zero Records website and buy our, mm -hmm. our record on the vinyl. Um, there are tapes coming through a small label called Beach Rat Records out of Florida. Um, so that is, those will be available pretty soon um so there is physical media available okay tapes wow we can't wait to get our little pencils to rewind them that's mm. great that's great mm -hmm. so besides this little epa of 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 songs what else can we expect from contact this year you yeah. know um hoping to play some shows outside of richmond um we are trying to cook up a, a little long weekend tour over the summer um out to the midwest so the midwest. If you're, yeah yeah um, not much more to say about that except for i, I won't go there in the winter uh because i can't drive in the snow but okay. we, last year we went to st louis and back went to evansville indiana west virginia and it was really fun so we're going to do that again this summer okay I think to the mid west perfect okay so before we close out is there anything else that you would like our as we said just ah so many so many people that listen to these what would you like them to know mm, uh, they should continue to d support hardcore hotline despite uh you know maybe a little bit of a passive aggressive tone uh never think, never at all uh, yeah mm -hmm. No, think, we're just think, uh, we're just we're just legitimate legitimate journalist outlet. Um, sure, very sure. serious. Um, people should just keep booking shows and doing hardcore and uh, doing it themselves. Don't wait for that. Uh, don't wait for that Taco Bell money to come along. Just uh, open up your living room and and have a hardcore show. You heard it, folks. Open up your living room hide your valuables or not have a hardcore show you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing hopefully you have good home insurance but let's keep hardcore diy as we can um even though we are fans of taco bell well that is all the time we have today thanks again to matt fisher from the band contact they are from richmond virginia you can listen to their new ep whenever it comes out uh wherever you listen to music or you can grab some tapes of their old stuff through beach rat records and pretend it's 1994 and we'll see you next time